like he's a friend There's not a monster out there in the world It's scarier than the one that's within Hello all of my sweet souls. Welcome back to my channel and a new video. This video today is going to be part of a whole new series I'm going to do called bonus weekend videos. Um, it's a little bit of a gap between when I upload my normal videos so I figure why not. Um, and today's video to start out the series we are going to be investigating my house. Namely my bedroom, my office space, whatever you want to call it. Um, because over the past several months to a year, I have noticed an increase in the activity that's going on in my house. Now, I wanted to run down a few things with you as far as the history of the place I live. It is said to have been a military barracks long, 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 long time ago. It is said to have been a motor court. And if you don't know what a motor court is, it is a motel that let's say you were driving for hours. You wanted to just kind of pull over and get some rest before you got back on the road again because you were too tired. You would pull into a motor court, pay a little bit of money, get a couple hours of rest and move on your way. Um, and then it turned into a motel. And now it's just kind of a place, I live in a one bedroom and most people live in one room with bathroom, turn them into efficiencies. There are efficiencies upstairs. Um, most of us have been here for upwards of five plus years. Um, there is not really a high turnover rate. Um, so most of us have been here for a very long time. And before I was in this one, I was in number nine and I will tell you this, that room scared me to death. Um, when I moved into it, I felt a presence. I won't say that it's a really bad presence because it really wasn't. Um, I was there for about a year and I started constantly looking towards the bathroom. Now, bathrooms in some places can be known as portals because they have mirrors, they have water, so on and so forth, whatever you do believe. Um, and I do believe that bathroom was absolutely a portal to hell. As the time went on, like I said, I was there about a year. I went to bed one night and uh, I mean, as soon as I laid my head down, as soon as I turned out the light, I felt push on my pillow, a very pronounced push. And it startled me because I had not had any interaction with this entity, entity, the whole time until that point. So I get up, I look around, I turn the light on. Nothing's there, right? Just the really, really ominous feeling of something not great. So I went back to sleep, slept the whole night, no problems. About a week later, again, I kind of stay up a little bit late sometimes depending on my insomnia, I have it really bad. And uh, I was probably going to bed at that point like 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, right around what they consider the witching hour, correct? Where all of the souls tend to get more energy and come alive at this point. And uh, so I went to sleep and at some point, probably around 20, 30 minutes later, I woke up out of nowhere and I see a torso. That's it, just a torso from here to here, like posturing, like evilly posturing, like it wants to get at me and it had a flannel shirt with no sleeves, you know, kind of like Larry the Cable Guy, flannel shirts with no sleeves. Love you, Larry. Anyways, so 
I did <laughs> the thing that I've done probably since I realized I could see hear anything with spirits I pull the blankets up over my head and I pray it away now it worked again because five minutes after I prayed it was gone and the energy lifted and while it was present though it was so so incredibly hot so heavy so ominous no doubt it was evil it was demonic I have no doubt um so finally I decided you know what I can't be in that space any longer this one opened up and I'm here and as soon as I moved in I felt so much better like the atmosphere was so so much better and then an entity or a spirit followed me not followed me from there but it could have been somebody that was here now we have had a lot of deaths um a few that I really do think could be the reason for spirit activity is one there was a fatal car accident probably two and a half years ago three years ago on Thanksgiving Day where two ladies and one child passed away right out front right out front now if you guys know anything about Stafford Virginia or anything about Boswell's Corner area you will know it is the corridor for bad not kidding for bad there's more car accidents house fires people being sick but anyway so there was that and also a couple years ago a young man overdosed right in the parking lot and passed away in the parking lot his body lay there for six hours before the coroner came and said yep he's passed away six hours ridiculous but he passed away in the parking lot and also before I ever came here in the space next door an older elderly man passed away um, so that's why I kind of want to get to the bottom of what is here every night or between 1 and 3 30 I always know something's gonna happen whether it be good whether it be pranking or jokester because that happens too or what has been happening the past I think like a month pretty steady things dropping things being thrown my leg being grabbed it is absolutely like somebody wants to make their self known possibly wants to talk that is why this video is being made today so without further ado if this is the kind of thing you want to watch hopefully it is let's get going I'm be using my favorite tool in the world to investigate my dowsing rods okay so first thing we're gonna do is Let's give the Necrophonic a chance um, and see what happens. So I am calling out to any spirit that is in my house. I welcome you to come and talk to me through my computer, this device right here. I would really like to know now. Oh. I have said a protection prayer before I started this, just so you guys know. Anyways, um, if you come and speak to me through this, I can hear you through this. So can all of uh, my subscribers, they can hear you as well. So I am going to go ahead and ask you to please tell us your name. <laughs> What is your name? Nathan. 
Can you say your name a little clearer, please? Pin. Is there an Esther here? Hey, you say Gail. Can you say your name, Esther? I thought I heard a name like Nathan and then I asked if there's an Esther here it sounded like yes I'm not getting that name so I'm gonna turn it back on I'm gonna ask how many spirits are with me right now let's see what they say How many spirits are with me right now? How many spirits are with me right now? Four? Is there four spirits with me? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try again. How many spirits are with me right now? Ten. Ten. Wait a second. Did you guys hear ten? Comment below because it, it said ten. <laughs> uh, that might be a little too many, right? Is there 10 spirits with me right now? Is there 10 spirits with me right now? We all. I'm telling you to say we all. Esther. Did I just, Esther, did I just hear you say Esther? <laughs> Yes. So Esther, can you say your name, please? Is I know it takes a lot of energy for you guys to come and talk to me. Can you say my name? Can you say Corey? Can you say your name? What is your name? All right, guys, so it's really, really, really important. If you hear something I miss, which you all probably do, please comment below because sometimes it's really, really hard to hear and I'm trying to put it as close to my earphones as I possibly can so y'all can get the clearest of it. But what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go ahead and do some dowsing rods because sometimes I have better luck with the dowsing rods asking yes or no questions. So let's get into that, shall we? All right, I'm gonna try to stand where you can see them. Center, please. Is there a female spirit with me right now? Yes, center, please. Center, please. 
Is your name Esther? No. That could be why she wasn't saying her name. Center. Are you a young female? Yes. 18? Yes. Okay. Young. Center, please. Were you killed in a car accident? No. See, the funny thing about that is, is right up the road about four years ago, um, an 18 year old girl went missing and they found her body frozen by a pond not far from here. So let's see if that's her. Center, please. That got found by the pond about four years ago, frozen? Yes. That was unexpected. All right, center, please. Is your name Jessica? Yes. That's her. Center, please. Center, please. Were you murdered? No. See, that's kind of weird because everything in the paper said she was murdered. Center, please. Did you overdose? No. Center, please. Were you drunk? Yes. Wow, okay. Center, please. Did you pass out by that pond? Is that why they found you frozen and dead? Yes. Wow. Huh. See, you never know what's gonna come out of these. You never know who's around you. Wow. See what I mean by the dowsing rods? I feel like with dowsing rods, sometimes you get more precise answers because you can yes or no them you can pinpoint ask names they work they run on your energy and vibration and they're just insanely good tool for a paranormal investigating all right let's go back to the necrophonic for a few more minutes um see what else we can catch see if anybody else wants to talk <laughs> What is your name? Mahilo. Are you always with me? <gasps> Wait a minute. What? All right, for some of you that watched my, oh, I got chills. My that was definitely a very clear child's voice. Um, so I need you guys to listen really, really carefully. What's that? Mary, if you're here with me still, can you say your name? Mary Sullivan, I know that you're with me. Can you say your name, please? They just say stop it. Maybe they're tired of talking to me. Okay. It's, 
Mary, if you're with me, can you please say your name? Anne. Is there an Anne here? One more time. How many spirits are in the room with me right now? How many spirits are with me right now? Just to clarify, God damn. did I just say six? Is there six? Two. Three. Two? I don't think they know. Okay, so I'm about to turn this off. Is that a little kid's voice again? Is there a little child with me right now? Is there a child with me right now? I swear to you guys. Hopefully you hear it too, because I got it right here. I keep hearing a child's voice. Wow. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to give them one last chance to talk. And then I am going to stop this video. Let's try. If anybody has anything else to say right now, it would be your time. You can come and talk into this black box. I'll hear you. One last time, can you can you say your name for me? Okay, I'm about ready to... One last thing before I go. Is there anything evil with me now? So I said, what? Is there anything demonic or evil with me? Sound like I said no. No, I heard it said no. Is the person that makes noise at night and wakes me up here with me? Did I say help her? So much I gotta review. Okay, in closing. Is there anything I have to be worried about in my house? Did I just say yes? Okay, so that was pretty interesting, I have to say. Um, we spoke with Jessica, um, a lady that was supposedly killed and put by that pond. And it comes to find out she was just drunk and passed out and unfortunately froze, which is really, really sad. Um, there's just so much I have to edit and go over because I thought I heard a lot of stuff in there. But again, I need y'all's help as well. If you hear something that I missed, please comment below. I will go back and I will listen to it because it happens to all of us. Every one of us, it happens to. So with that being said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. There are going to be plenty more like it. As a matter of fact, I may be going to the abandoned house today and 
bringing the necrophonic with me and seeing if we can make contact. I do feel a strong pull over that way. However, white light prayer is going to be said, protection all around, because you never really know what you're getting into. Highly suggest all of you do that as well when investigating. And as soon as I get off of here, I'm going to close it out and I'm going to protect myself as well again. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and not already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit that like button. Go on over, hit the notification bell to be notified every single time I upload. I will see you guys soon.